I am ready. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Is that too much? Let's go. Hello, Chicago. How are you? I'm fine, too. Guess what, everybody? Hermantown is in session. Won't you welcome to the stage the mayor of Harmontown, Dan Harmon! Faking it, Jeff. <laughs> oh, Austin, I love it because we're in Texas. S safe to say it because they won't hear us anymore. <laughs> Fuck those people. It just the, the, I felt like I was doing mental sit-ups, you know? Like, 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 like pretending to be happy in all those cities when Chicago is the only reason we came out. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, up here is New York. <laughs> who, who, who wants to perform in New York? It's dumb. Nobody! Especially Brooklyn. What an unhip borough. Uh, anyways. <laughs> Jeff, improv was invented here. Is that true? Yeah. Uh, How many people in the crowd are improvisers or have improvised? Well, get out your notepads. <laughs> Because uh, uh, historically, for the very first time, tonight's Harmontown will be 100% pulled out of my ass. I am tired. I'm tired of the countless rehearsals. I'm tired of, of the effort. I'm tired of, of going over this shit with people. I, I am a bit of a taskmaster. At, at 8 a.m. every day, Dan and I get up and I make him rehearse and rehearse the show. <laughs> Work on your raps. Yeah, 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 I know. It's, <laughs> It's not, how many times do I have to tell you, uh, uh, it's, 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 uh, 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 uh. <laughs> not, uh, 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 pussy rhymes with pussy, Dan. You just say it. We found out last night that pussy can possibly rhyme with Gary Busey. Yes. <laughs> if, someone, you if you sell it. Someone in Bloomington, Indiana, like, called out, like, I was like, I said for the third time, because I, I, you know, of course if you're rapping about fucking people's mamas, uh, as I want to do, you, you end up talking about her pussy. If you make the mistake, Chicago, you know what I'm talking about, first level workshops, this, this is uh, taught in. If you make the mistake of ending with pussy in your first line, where are you gonna go? And I, I was lamenting that on stage, and uh, someone in Bloomington, uh, Indiana, called out Gary Busey. <laughs> and, I, uh, and, I, and I ended the show, and I took him in the green room, and I said, I don't know what the fuck you're trying to pull, <laughs> but if you ever want me or Rob Schneider to ever come here, <laughs> again, you take your fucking snotty little Midwestern bullshit back to uh, the Midwest. I'm going to Chicago, which is also in the Midwest, but it's like a New York-y kind of city where they invented improv. And if I want to hear what rhymes with pussy, I'll, I'll find out at Second City. You little piece of shit. You little fuck. Todd Jacobson, age 19, whose address is uh, 4328. I'm reading this off of a piece of paper for you in podcast land. Wilshire Boulevard. <laughs> Wait. There's a Wilshire Boulevard. It doesn't matter. Uh, let's stop. Let's 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 start over. Um, <clears throat> so sh <laughs> Chicago, Chicago invented improv. So we're gonna make up the whole show tonight. They invented wind. Uh, so you know that doesn't that doesn't really have any effect on us. We're indoors. They uh, the typewriter was invented here. Uh, uh, George Washington died here. Uh, uh, Il Illinois, the 50th state to leave the Union in the pre-Civil War. Uh, there, there was a, there was a, a lot of people don't know this. I'm sure Chicago knows because they were here. Uh, they, there was a pre-Civil War where the North North and the North South uh, fought to see who would attack the South first. 
Did you know that? I knew that. Yeah. A lot of these assholes didn't know. Obviously, they're they're not they're they're staring at me like I'm some kind of uh, fat idiot who uh, got fired from his own show. Uh, uh, came to Chicago to try to get people to uh, uh, make him sign stuff so he could feel better. I, I haven't asked this, Dan. You, you got two new shows uh, that you're in, in the works. No, I don't. Well, you have you have a CBS show and a Fox show. I I, I conned two giant corporations into giving me a great deal of money. And, uh, they love corporations. I wanted, I wanted Bob Greenblatt to know I was employable. I'm sure he really keeps himself up at night going, eh, I hope I can prove him wrong by firing him. And then I wanted him to read in the press that I could work for two networks at once. Let's, uh, let's say that both... So I took their money and then I got in a bus and I came out here. <laughs> and, and you've been shirking your responsibilities. You turned in the CBS thing, but you have not turned in the Fox thing, right? I have not. When was that due? December-ish. <laughs> but, you know, in my defense, like, what I do isn't really a schedulable thing. You don't, you don't, you don't go up to a plumber and say, uh, 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 unclog my toilet. Yes, you, you, yes, do. you do. That's, that's, that's exactly what you say to a plumber. Right. Because there's a leak, and you say, I, I, my, my, my basement is Yeah, flying. but he tells you I'll be there between 10 and 9. Yeah, and then he comes. Well, yeah, but it's, he gives you a big, wide thing, and then... But it's a day. He does come, yeah. yeah. All right, so I'm like a plumber that doesn't come. <laughs> uh, but, I, but I unclog more than a toilet, Jeff. I unclog America's lack of entertainment. <laughs> and that's worth waiting a couple of extra months. Thank you, Chicago. I knew you'd get me. Now, let's say that both, both shows, uh, you know, in, in, a, in a magical, perfect universe... Your CBS show, your Fox show, both get picked up. That's not going to happen. But let's just say... Okay, let's okay, okay. Let's, let's just say Let's that. all join Jeff's weird peppermint world. <laughs> where gumdrops are shoes. <laughs> what, what, what happens there? A deer licks my balls and the salt makes him strong and he gets accepted by his deer friends? I don't even... Why are you saying what you're saying? <laughs> Sorry, I, I interrupted I you. I can't believe you're wasting this good stuff and, and you haven't turned in your Fox script. <laughs> Peppermint chew balls. Uh, what do you want to know? What I'm saying, you... I'm saying, in, in a world where both of your shows get picked up, and now you're forced to be a guy that, that you can't do both. But let's say that you could. Let's say that you were, you were the showrunner and creator of both a CBS multi-camera show and a Fox single-camera show. Which how, would you get fired off one or more of them? <laughs> I would, well, my hope, the supposition was that I wouldn't get fired from any of them. Because remember, I also have an Adult Swim show coming in 2014. So, so there's a three hope shows. <laughs> the hope was that by diversifying my asshole folio, that, that I would now create a situation. Because it, 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 at the risk of sounding defensive and self-aggrandizing and, and possibly psychotic, uh, a little Mansonian and uh, perhaps a little Koreshian and uh, with just a pinch of Busey. Uh, I think, as far as I can tell in my crazy brain, the reason I keep getting fired is because I have too much time to focus on the job. And I keep, you know, going like, yeah, but what if it could be a really, really, really good show? And then after a while, it gets very annoying to people around me, you know? Like, like, like so you're saying by... By scattering your, your focus yeah, so this I go, much. So my, here was my fantasy, okay, in your gumdrop world. I wake up. Okay, it's uh, Monday. It's 9 a.m. <clears throat> and I wake up. <laughs> oh, God. Oof. Eight hours of sleep. Wow, what time did I get home last night? Oh, I was working at CBS. I got home at 3 p.m. Uh, I, 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 because I, I, cause I said, what if there was a dog in it? And that my job was done. Um, uh... What, what's for breakfast? Uh, uh, tater tots. I don't care. I don't. I, I'm not. I, 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 that's not part of the fantasy. Well, it is. Tater tots are great. I'm getting off. I, I'm sorry. Let me start over. Stay focused. Okay. Stay focused. All right. Edit the part out of the one company that might actually employ me, uh, saying that their entertainment is substandard in some way. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, what time is it? It's 9. What time did I get home yesterday? 3 p.m. because CBS runs such a tight ship. Okay. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna take the mic out so I can move around. It's a, uh, give the space w work. Space watch, work, yes. right? Watch this Improv Olympic uh, students. <laughs> 
It's 9 a.m. What time did I uh, get to bed last night on this clock that I'm holding up? Is that, got, got home at 3 and made love to my girlfriend, who oh, yeah. I'm able to maintain a relationship with while running three shows because I, I, I'm able to get an erection because none of these three networks are run by a, 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 a Bob Greenblatt. <laughs> Uh, so my dick gets hard, mysteriously, out of nowhere. I'll just be sitting around and my dick will get hard and I have blood is allowed to go into the little valves. <laughs> Time to go to work in my, in my giant car with a cow catcher on the front. I don't, I don't know what, it's got diamonds on the thing. And the... You're now entering your car. It's 2000. 14, you have three new messages in your Scott car. Sorry, sorry, I, I'm programmed to make you feel better about yourself by stumbling over words. Uh, that'll do, amazing AI uh, car. Uh, let's hear those three messages while I drive to uh, my first, the first job. Uh, first, new message sent today at 8.30 a.m. Hey Dan, it's your, it's your masseuse. Just wanted to let you know, man. Dude, it was so relaxing massaging you. <laughs> Sent 847. <laughs> oh, no, 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 not gonna worry about it. Got a cow catcher. <laughs> eight, eight, 847 AM. Hey, Dan, it's uh, CBS is calling you to let you know. Great job. Great job with the script. Great idea with the dog. Um, <laughs> All right, so we're getting out. Third message is from my girlfriend. She'll understand. Uh, work comes first. All right. <laughs> here I am. I'm, I'm here at CBS for my first day of work. <laughs> oh, God, I, I felt so bad about hitting that cow that uh, we brought it into the writer's room and it's working for us now, and actually, we won an Emmy. <laughs> uh, we just milked it onto a piece of paper and let it dry, and it was amazing. I had to sweeten the laughs a little bit, but, you know, everything needs coaxing. Um, what's going on, uh, uh, Gary uh, uh, Fucknuts? Um, <laughs> my, my showrunner, because I am just the creator. I just fucking hang out, and I'm creative. Uh, oh, well, oh, amazing, God, great idea for a pitch. Uh, oh, what if Douglas uh, uh, decides to change the way he dresses for an episode, and he wants to go basketball, but he's allergic to shrimp, so he ends up dressing totally different, and then we'll talk about, oh, oh. <laughs> Thought balloon over my head. That sounds like a really shitty idea. <laughs> I'd kill myself before I watched that. <laughs> Second thought balloon over my head. You keep getting fired. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Gary, you're promoted. I'm gonna take a quick nap in my office. Hey, well, that gives me a great idea for an episode. Hey, what if his voice trails off? What if so and so took a nap in his office? <laughs> open the window in my office, climb out. <laughs> Natalie, a AI car, pu pulling up to your predetermined escape route. <laughs> Take me to Fox, Natalie. <laughs> hey, play that third message. I heard play turd massage. <laughs> God damn it, just fucking technology. That's the most stressful thing that'll happen to me all day. Right? <laughs> play the third message. Hey, it's Aaron McGathy. I, I published another uh, random collection of your babblings and it made a million dollars. Oh, great, well, hey. Hey, get yourself a dildo. <laughs> now arriving at Fox Studios. <laughs> hey, hey, whoa, did you hear the news? Golden Globe, yay, yay. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I was just over at my CBS job. Those fucking assholes, they think they're making a good TV show just because eight times as many people watch it. <laughs> We're making art over here, right? 
because only 17 million people are watching. Uh, uh, so what, what do you got? Well, we had this idea that Spoogless uh, would, would, would want to dress differently, but he'd, then he'd start dressing differently, and because he's allergic to squid, that then he would, he would say, but then he'd stop, because I remember that Abed character, and he would look at the camera, and he'd go, what am I doing? What am I, Douglas from CBS? <laughs> You're amazing! That's great, it's a little meta. It's still Fox, it's got an edge. I like it. I'm gonna go in my office and take a nap. Hey, you gave me a great idea. What if he said he was taking a nap, but he knew he was taking a nap? <laughs> Bessie, just go in there and punch up the script. <laughs> Natalie, bring the cow catcher mobile around. Ta take me to Adult Swim. Wait, stop on 3rd and, and Dope Dealer Street. <laughs> Hey, Mike. Hey, Mr. Harmon. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Mike, what race are you? I'm an Eskimo, Mr. Harmon. <laughs> Just checking. Just checking and clarifying. You sounded a little sky cappy there. Uh, uh, now make with the drugs and, uh, and the blubber. Thank you. Because I'm going to Adult Swim where 30 people are going to watch. Ooh, but it's all about fucking excitement. Hey, everybody. Hey, it's me, your friends. Whoa, we're all your friends. Ah, we don't know what the fuck we're doing, but we're your friends. Woo, woo, woo. What do you got for me? We don't have shit. We don't know what to do when you're not here. We're your friends. What the fuck's happening? We just got high the whole time. You were gone. We're really freaking out. Hey, guys, take it easy. What if we did an episode about people freaking out, drawing a circle on the board? Look, look where we are. We're freaking out. The cosmic threshold, God is towing the phone. Holy shit, you're fucking genius. Please give me a job every time. Holy shit, I can't believe it. I'm so fucking high, I'm freaking out. It's fucking great, man. Fade in on freaking out. Hey, you got a phone call from the president of Adult Swim. Hey, Lazo, how's it going? Hey, man, I just want to let you know I'm so fucking high. I love, I love this fucking show, man. I love, I love everything on Adult Swim. I don't give a shit. Nobody's watching. I don't give a fuck. I'm fucking, I'm high. I got a, I got a fucking pickle in my ear. I got an antenna on my head. I, I, I'm in Atlanta. I can't, I'm not, I don't have any political reason to fuck around with anybody. I'm just having a great life and fucking living my dreams. And it's fucking great. Television's for fun. <laughs> hey, you were on speakerphone the whole time. We were rubbing our dicks on the phone. I love that. I love that. We didn't mean to do it. We weren't doing it out of disrespect. We just love rubbing our dicks and stuff. We're so high. All right. All right, guys. Whoa, what time is it? 3 p.m.? I better go home. That's, that was my fantasy. So here was the, here, here was the reality, really. It was, uh, 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 Hey, uh, can I have a, a bazillion dollars to uh, write a show? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, we're really excited because we really respect you here at Fox. And, uh, and uh, yeah, we really respect you here at CBS, too. Uh, well, slow down, Fox at CBS. I can only write one show for one network, right? Uh, I, I guess I should go with Fox because I'll probably fuck up more at CBS because, you know, tastes are so different. All right, Fox. Uh, I'll take a bunch of money from you. All right, CBS, uh, okay. Uh, sorry, I, I, I said yes to Fox. Yeah, but we'll, you can write one for us, too. Uh, I can? <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's really gonna piss Bob Greenblatt off, I think, in my weird, dumb mind, like he ever thinks about me. Uh, uh, okay, thank you, thank you for all, thank you for all the money, guys. I'm, uh, 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 well, when are you gonna be done with the script? Dude, I'm so fast, I'm fucking crazy. It, uh, it only took me a week to write a community episode because it had to be done in a week and I had 20 people helping me. Um, I, 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 as far as I can remember, I'm a really fast writer. I can't remember past two and a half years because I'm always high. Um, <laughs> I'm a really fast writer. Okay, I'm gonna, I'll give you guys a script. Uh, uh, I, I, I'll have to be done before Christmas because after Christmas I only have a week to prepare for going on a tour where I go and masturbate to audiences and, uh, and uh, do shit like this that, that inevitably gets me fired because when they hear it, they're going to be mad because it sounds disrespectful. Okay, all right, but it won't matter because I'll have turned in these great scripts, so who cares? Um, <clears throat> okay, bye, bon voyage, we love you. Woo! Uh, <clears throat> uh, let's see, just unbutton my pants. Put on the internet. Ah! 30 days later, almost finished. Oh, still coming. No, oh, I didn't know I was into that. Oh, 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 it 
burns. Oh, 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 the creative process. It just, it chafes and it burns. I just, I had to come up with new ways to get hard. Oh, oh, every drop. All right, 12 hours left. Let's start on that CBS thing. Time to go to Europe. Oops, okay, well. <laughs> hey, it's CBS, hey man, fucking genius, you're amazing. We, we, we love you, we're very supportive of you, we're good people, we make good television. Uh, just wanna check in with you. Guys, it's almost done, what the fuck? <laughs> like, CBS, a... uh, Dan just made a jerk off motion, if you're listening on the podcast. <laughs> He went, uh, 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 suck his tongue out and made a jerk off thing. Bit, bit of a snag, I'll have to ride it on the plane. Uh, <laughs> I mean, what, fuck it, you know, altitude gets me high. What the, uh, uh, also gets me horny. I'm gonna go in the bathroom of the airplane. Ah, ah, 12 hours later, oh, international flight, I can't come anymore. Oh, I'm coming so hard. Now landing in London. Hey, good day, mate. <laughs> what? Uh, Welcome to it. Well, that, that's where the flight took so long. Yeah. You got rerouted to go, Brisbane. Go back. You got, you, got, you got 28 hours to write your screenplay now. You, ended, you landed in Brisbane. Um, okay. Oh, I'm jerking off tomorrow. Oh, oh I, never, I never. I didn't know Matthew McConaughey. He was in this many movies. I'm going to watch all of them. <laughs> now arriving in London. Oh, cheerio. Oh, oh. Um, uh, Dan. Dan, it's Christmas time. We we agreed to spend this time in Christmas uh, at Christmas and with 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 Rob and Kate. We were gonna go eat Christmas dinner in London. Uh, do you understand what it's like to be a genius? <laughs> do you understand how fucking creative I am? Why can't you be a better girlfriend? What the fuck? You think I wanted to be behind deadline? Merry Christmas to me. <laughs> Go have fun. Go eat your figgy pudding. I'm gonna be here trying to write this script. Okay, all right, fine. We'll try to make our own fun in London. Jesus Christ, it's gonna fucking fade in on me jerking off. Ah! Ah! They have the internet in London too. Oh! Oh! It's just, it's just clear what's coming out. It's even. Ah! Ah! I didn't, I didn't, I had to use a coat hanger. Um. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I don't know what it means either. You guys reacted like you do know what it means. <laughs> there must be a way to jerk off with a coat hanger. Did you get yourself pregnant and had a weird? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But there was a Chicago reaction of it. I, I mean, I think it just might be avulsion, or a revulsion rather, or a gross. Yeah, I, I could have said fire hydrant. Maybe they would have reacted that way. I think they would have gone, uh huh. I said coat hanger, and they're like, whoa, not the number fifty-two. <laughs> Chicago style, whoa! <laughs> Deep dish, jerking off with a coat hanger. It's the secret to the water. It's, uh, we, we, we ship it in from New York. Um, all right, so, uh, yeah, whatever. You just, you just react for the sake of it, it doesn't matter. Uh, <clears throat> so skip the, skip, the, skip the Christmas vacation. I, I, I ruined Christmas, because I'm like, I, look, I got, guys, I would have loved to have not taken work. I, I, I got two scripts to write, I got two scripts to write. Uh, 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 get back home. Uh, uh, okay, I, I'll just finish them up right before we go on this tour. Uh, uh, okay, we're going on the tour. All right, I'll write the scripts on the tour. Uh, 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 I'm being filmed. Uh, oh, it's a movie. Am I making a movie? Yeah. Hey, what's it like to be so smart? I don't know. Uh, I'm producing the movie. Am I being smart? Uh, I'm paying for the whole thing. Uh, uh, here you go, CBS. I, I did it. I did it. I did it. I wrote a script. Okay, we have a couple notes. Yeah, that should be easy. I can knock that out in a day. Do you promise? What do you, what do you mean? Of course. It'll be done in a day. Six days later. Yeah! Okay, there wait, you wait, go. Wait, wait. Uh, we're, we're on the tour bus most of the time. Is that what's going on when you close a little bunk curtain? At, at this point, it's become a figurative... Ugh, like, I, I, I... No, I haven't... Uh, the irony is that the masturbation only began when the when the, when the physical masturbating stopped. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> when you're when you're in a giant phallic bus containing you and a camera crew asking you questions about yourself, you don't you really don't need your dick to be involved anymore. <laughs> and you're, you're, you're just you're, you'll go blind. The, the whole world faster. is your pussy right yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> so uh, CBS script gets finished. Fox One is not. There's a point where Fox says, listen, really, it has to be done. Well, okay, uh, can I have two more days? Well, in one and a half days, like, they're gonna start making a lot of their decisions. Right. It's a practical answer. 
Okay, so if so, I'll try to get to you one and a half days. Yeah, because really at that point, you're you're kind of you know we'll have to you know take it a slower path, meaning that you know all these other scripts are going to get picked up and you'll you'll be kind of behind the flock. Um, okay, all right, good. So one and a half days later, I'm like, oh, fuck it, it's not finished. So party time, like because I, I missed. When the was deadline. this? A couple days ago? Yeah, it was like uh, Saturday afternoon was the day that I kind of like you know it would, if I had a shot, I would have like turned something into them. And th so then I didn't. So then I was like, okay, the upside of that is that let's let's stop burdening the tour with. And so I started. I was just like, oh, let's uh, let's have a glass of kettle one and let's uh, let's do some of these shows like unburdened. Then today I was at a I was at a bar here in Chicago and I got an email from Fox that was like script. <laughs> and, I, and I was like. Mm. I can't really, I don't have any right to be outraged by any of this. So, I, uh, so it's like, this whole thing reminds me of being in college. Where I, I, I'm a, procrast, a procrastinator, and I'm always behind uh, schedule and everything, but your professor is Fox. Like, uh, that's, and it's not getting an A or, a, or, a, or an F. I think it's just being eight years old and, like, not cleaning your room, which is festooned with your own shitty diapers, which you shouldn't be shitting in anymore because you're eight. And like you smearing them all over your own walls, and then your parents coming in and going, "Smells like shit." You might have a better time in your life if you stopped like like shitting everywhere and raping it, and you sucking your thumb and going, "It hurts when you say that." And but we're, we're we're podcasting this show every night. Presumably, somebody at each of those networks is listening to all of this, right? Yeah, I know, but that's more shit on the wall. That's self destruction. It's like right. something's gonna. So give. you you could get fired before these shows ever get picked up. That could set a new record, yes, is what you're saying. <laughs> yes. I, so I have to be the Chuck Yeager of something, Jeff. <laughs> it's not gonna be quality television. It's gonna have to be, like, like I have to, like, I'm, I, my, my hope is by the age of 45, I will be able to write backwards and get fired in reverse. <laughs> like, I'll actually enter a parallel universe where I'm promoted all the time. Because everything is like, like I've inverted like some kind of balloon. Now, it'll be fine. I'm exaggerating. I think CBS is very happy with their script. It's probably going to be a big hit. I don't care. <clears throat> and I'll edit all this out. I went a little overboard with the honesty tonight. It's a little self-destructive. And, no, and nobody, nobody, nobody... Uh... There's, a, there's a gal engaging you over here. This lady works at Fox. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she said she got a message from Erica Costa, who works on the uh, Adult Swim show, and they need me back immediately. Is that true? <laughs> Wait, are you you're friends with Erica Costa? Yeah. yeah. yeah? Did he send you here as his minion? <laughs> oh, no. Okay. I mean, nobody needs me back there immediately. It's a very fun show to write. The, the more they feel that way, the funner the show will get. Well, you, well, someone had a question over here? Yes, you, uh, a very well-spoken gentleman over here has a question. I do have a question. All right. I mean, well, number one, I have, I, well, I'm kind of a make-a-wish. You're kind of a make-a-wish? Well, that's neither, that's neither a question nor a statement. Well, <laughs> but it does sound like entertainment dynamite. Get uh, on over here. Get, get him on up. Can you just come up, come up before? Make a wish implies that he's dying. Oh, it's me. gonna get pretty grim up here. Oh. Or I already got you down talking about my career. Couture to shed a tear. Couture. All right. <laughs> Not good. All right. I, I have a make a wish, but it's just because I want you to make me a drink. Oh. That's one. All right. I have two drinks. Because you're dying two. of thirst. <laughs> I would play that up. He's dying of thirst, you guys. I just, I just kind of want, I kind of, well, you know, I was really, I, honestly, I came here, and I was just like, I mean, I have. Go I on. Have a, I have a situation. I have a situation called alcoholism. All right. Me and too. I was just really hoping that Dan Harmon would make me a drink. <laughs> That's not the cure for alcoholism. <laughs> he doesn't Correct. know that. It's, it's part of the affliction is you don't know that. That's, but I, that's have, how I, have, I have a different question besides that. Okay. And I, I don't know if this will, I, I don't want to get deep or whatever, but friends. Okay, here's my question. 
friends. How can you make friends with the audience? No, 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 no. <laughs> Reveal you have leukemia and that. ask for world peace. That's, that, that is how. Not that at all. My question was, because obviously, I mean, you portray yourself as an asshole. Right. And I think of myself as an asshole. Like, I am shitty to people. Like, left and right. <laughs> and sure. now, and, and, and you uh, portray yourself as that, uh, and uh, whatever. But so, how, how have you been able to surround yourself with people that are actually talented? Like, Rob Trop is, 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 he's a, he's a smart man. Right. And, uh, and then you got all the Channel 101 crowd. And right. they're all, I mean, you've got a lot of good people in your situation. So you're saying, you're asking Dan what, what makes him less of an asshole what? than no, you? No, no, <laughs> Not quite. Close. Very close. More like, why, why are you able to have talented people around you? Right. And, and I mean, yeah. <laughs> Are you saying, are you, am I no, getting your... Uh, come on, you know. I tell... Are you guys are the worst. If, if I'm getting your question right, what you're asking is, you watch what I do, and you, and you say to yourself, well, I've got the I'm an asshole part down. <laughs> and you want to know where the success comes in. What am I not doing right? I'm tapping my nose like charade. <laughs> I mean, my answer is going to sound self-aggrandizing. I'm going to say I have good taste in people, or no, I'm going to say... No, how about young? Because I have seen you, like, at... Uh, I, w I went to Wisconsin, so I've seen your brother's ad, even, like, when you did the brother's subs bullshit. Right, cousin subs. Yeah, yeah cu sorry. Cousin. Right. No, it's oh, oh, yeah, yeah. No, it's... Yeah, yeah, exactly. No, uh, no. no, he was a young, pimply dude. But, right. yeah, so... But for some reason, you were able to surround yourself with talented people. Right. So. <laughs> well, how does that explain this that. moment right now? No. I, I obviously don't have, like, untalent repellent. I, I'm just saying. I, I'm not just saying. Uh, so, you're a talented person and also awful. Right. I mean, by your own admission. So you've been able to find a community. The answer, my friend, is a rap battle. Is a rap battle. Is a rap battle. Shoe. Gonna rap a while, gonna hand him the mic and hear his rapping style. Go around. Go hey. around. So, I just wanted to ask you about your mean of operation, and then I thought that I just want to give you a little bit of fashion with my dick. Because apparently that's how it goes. And that might be kind of sick. Wait, hold on. Good dude, I thought I might go on home. Yeah. And I so uh, Ryan, just Ryan, in the room. Ryan, your question was what? <laughs> it's that. Uh, 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 I, I just ruined everything. No, you didn't. You, I mean, for, for yourself alone, really. <laughs> There is no, I mean, you don't, they're not, they're You're really good at that. They're, the they're, they're booing you because that's part of the story. Uh, where is you the, you're not the hero. You're not the hero. <laughs> they're, they're cheering you by you booing. You boo goddess? Darth Vader. Am I the goddess? Like, Darth Vader owns it. Darth Vader goes, yes, keep booing. Yeah. Huh? He, he doesn't go like, Ryan, oh, what? I didn't close someone's throat shut with the force. I, I'm not. I don't. How do you, uh, 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 Tatooine, what do you, what's your secret with the, how do you, he, he goes fucking, duh, duh, I'm evil. I want to suck the fucking life out of your show and your universe. I, 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 I want control. I want power. I have a fucking face shaped like a skull with a Nazi helmet on it. That makes him a hero to his own people, at least. At least I'm, I'm gonna that. curl into a ball with Jeff right now. <laughs> like, I, I, I can't find it. Like, 
This, this is the only comfort I find. <laughs> You're doing it wrong. <laughs> Ryan, everybody, is thank you for Ryan. Yeah. Ryan. Fuck it. Fuck it. Here, Brian. Yeah. No, did, really? Well, because are you thinking what I'm thinking? Like, what? Okay. All right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Discre was, okay. discretion dot 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 Valor. <laughs> I was just thinking like like you know like if you you know if you just just into the into the spin you know like like when you're driving on the ice. Where did you get that little Dorothy Parker hat you had on there for a while? The er, the Eric Acosta messenger uh, oh, wow. had a, had a little Dorothy Parker hat which doubled as a Kango when the uh, when the shit hit the fan. All right, so enough about my career. Uh, <clears throat> Let's bring Spencer up right now, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Chicago. Uh, he is the dungeon master. Uh, the earlier, yeah, we should we should have brought him up a, 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 a moment ago. Uh, yeah, they love you, Spencer. We love you. God. Thanks, guys. Spencer, I see you wearing pants. He, he boasted he could wear shorts all day today and not be bothered. I got by. nothing but tweets from people saying, wear pants, bundle up, uh, you're a pussy. Like, I'm just like over it. <laughs> well, people take their weather seriously. I, mean, I don't I'm take your guys' weather seriously. I could be rocking shorts. But they're, con they're concerned about your own well-being. People care about your health now, Spencer. Well, fuck them. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh. No, 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 thanks. I appreciate your concern. <laughs> Spencer, I understand that you had your first deep dish pizza today. I said, I said Spencer did. Yeah. I also took my first shit in Chicago. <laughs> No, no, your pizza's good. Your pizza's good. I like you guys and your pizza. Aww, you. So flattered. <laughs> they, 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 they rolled out the red carpet for us here. This is the warmest audience I've ever. Uh, it's amazing. What uh, a cool uh, room. In front of. Yeah, the, the, I think the. It's like being in the actual good. Second City main stage, but without all the political <laughs> shame. <laughs> Spe speaking of which, I met somebody outside before the show that I wanted to roll the dice on, uh, so to speak, like bringing up. I, want I wanted the audience to meet him and see if he pro provides as much joy uh, uh, for, for, for them as he is. I, I, was, I was very entertained by this, uh, this guy. Is it, is it Ben? Ben, are you here? Uh, 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 the, uh, over here. He's over here. Oh, there you are. Okay. Can, can you, are you willing to come up? Can you come up? Uh, <coughs> come on up. This is this one on? Check, check, check. Okay. Here, you take that one. I don't, you don't have to. You do, do however you want. I want you to do your thing. Thank you. I just wanted, I wanted to I, talk I, to you. I feel like marionette strings have been attached, and now the monkey has to dance. No, 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 no. Don't think no, that no, way no, at all. No, 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 no. Being exploited is fine. It's cool. Okay, okay. <laughs> it's good. Yeah. It's I, like, yeah, it's, it's, the, it's de rigueur. It's what people do now. Want, That's how the world works. Yeah, yeah. I want, I want, I want to, how old are you? 16. Okay, and your parents are here and they're cool with uh, me talking about my nuts there. and my butt. Yeah, and they're good. All right. And you're 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 aspiring a uh, filmmaker. Oh, uh, not to turn the crowd against yeah, you. But. Yeah, absolutely. All right. So yeah. but, but Mary Nest strings have been right. attached. But um, I, but really it was your you know like 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 uh uh <laughs> I don't I don't know I don't know how to not put you on the spot but I wanted to kind of I, I just wanted to talk to you a little bit because you were very flattering before the show and I also thought the audience might be a little charmed with you but now they're gonna feel compelled to but then again your lead in couldn't have been better. Um, <laughs> I don't, yeah, I, I, you'll, <laughs> you're, you're safe and secure here, okay. it's not, I, 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 yeah, you, you, you could lift up your shirt and Hitler's face could be <laughs> tattooed on you and start speaking and uh, <laughs> it, he, he would still kill. Um, <laughs> But I just want to, because I don't know. There was some, I don't. I, I'm not a good interviewer. No, ben. that's okay. I can I can babble. Okay. So that's totally fine. All right. Just... Um, and like building upon the babbling, you know, it's 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 weird that uh, when I started, you know, watching Community and started, um, y you know, th there's uh, th it's a cultural obsession, and um, I I like being I, and just speaking generally, I think I I like the, the whole geek concept bothers me because I think it's it's more important to like things than to like the concept of liking things. 
So that's why I, you know, and so there's like this fetishization that's occurred, you know, where it's like, I don't like, you know, I'm not passionate about filmmaking, I'm not passionate about Hitler, or, you know, whatever. I'm just, I just like liking things, you know? And so like on top of that, um, Part, and so and so that's you know you know I kind of you, you sort of groove on that wavelength when I read about you know when I read about you, um, and so I think that's 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 fascinating and that's great and that was like hugely important to me. But like I was reading it, there was like this um, bizarre sense of empathy building that I like. I it's like oh I don't idolize Dan Harmon. There's like this weird empathy, and I realized you know that's not like a oh I'm so flattered thing. Oh I'm an obnoxious fifteen year old boy. What that means though. <laughs> Is that for whatever reason? Were you 15 now? Oh, sorry. Six. Well, my birthday was on January 7th, so there's a, a time fluctuation. Yeah. Are you, um, is it narcissistic of me to try to figure out where I was 16 years ago? And when, uh, if I uh, where would where would you have been 16 years ago? Uh, when you were 16. All right. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, no, exactly. Very much so. All I mean, right. he, he would have, he would have, is I would he, have uh, uh, Ben is your name? Yeah. Is your mama here tonight? No, uh, well, my Thank father's. heavens for that. Yeah. Thank heavens. Um, but, but, like, building on top of that, so we have the genital mutilation and the liking genital mutilation, not liking, liking genital mutilation. Wait, 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 wait. Right? Back well, it up, back it up. You can generalize it. Back, back like that thought up. I'm sorry, it's like, uh, like I associated uh, filmmaking or whatever with genital mutilation. I don't know why. <laughs> Jeff, Jeff, comp troll him, comp troll him. I, oh, what? Can is I, can it, I? This is out of control right now. <laughs> well, so am I, I just, sometimes. I okay, okay, okay Ben, Ben, yeah. uh, you met Dan in line today? I absolutely did, yeah. And uh, how did you make the leap from what he was doing to genital mutilation? Oh, I thought he was masturbating so much. Well, and, uh, yeah, well, here's the thing though. That ben? Yes. Have you started masturbating? Absolutely. You have? Yeah. <laughs> Prove it. <laughs> but, 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 like, We're all going to jail tonight, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and CBS is going to bail us all out. Yeah. And I'll be like, now are you sorry? I just, yes. I just Get back to work. So, so I want to introduce a, pop, uh, a possibility because you're a Joseph Campbell fan. And like that's like the heuristic through which you know you view the world, which is great. So like here's the thing, um, in in like 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 in your heuristic, at least the, the persona heuristic, um, you're Django, right? Except you're not black and you're not Jamie Fox, but you're sort of. It's like it's like that narrative, right? Of freeing yourself, and I am you know self-actualizing. Um, but here's the thing: Have you entertained the possibility? that you're actually Samuel L. Jackson, and that, or like at a point, someone else is gonna become Django. Have you entertained the possibility that you are me? That, like, no, 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 no. That, 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 that that's why I brought you up, and that Look, like, I, I am so narcissistic, and that it, I am so it, entertained it, it, by because, him. Because, because, <laughs> I've never met, I, I, I'm sitting stage, I, you're in the middle of stage, and I'm sitting stage left, he's stage right, like, it's like perspective is shrinking you. Yeah. Well, it's well, sending you back in time. We just need, <laughs> that, so to jump. his right, we just need a, a six-year-old child going, I can go, I can go, I can go, I can go. I mean, I don't mean, uh, 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 give me a bottle. I just mean. Uh, 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 uh. But because the, the world being what it is now, uh, he's a he's he's an earlier he's a prodigy. You like if you're a, if you're a chess champion, like he's a chess champion at an earlier yeah, age. He's much than sexier you are. and he's got his shit more together. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> ladies, come on, Ben. I have to push him off the Acropolis tonight. Uh, My he's point is, he's 16. And ladies. I don't. <laughs> he but... likes to mutilate those genitals. <laughs> he's already started masturbating. That means. Yeah. Uh, it means also, biologically, you can yeah, get ben, out on the ground ben, floor. Ben, you know, I, I hate to tell anybody sexual advice, but you don't have to mutilate yourself to masturbate right. There's, okay. there's, there's lotions right. and whatnot. I, I, I need to text him. Oh, okay. oh dear, his coke just fell out. Make a note yep. of that. Oh, that's but my point was, like, the, the idea is to sort of, um, because... You ben, know, are you carrying a gun right now by any <laughs> chance? Well, the easy thing to do is to come up and... and uh, <laughs> See, he's already learned. Sometimes, right. you, yeah. sometimes you just blow past Jeff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the, the easy thing to do is to come up and idolize you, and I wanted to insult you first, so that the idol, so that the idolizing was felt more personal and more right. true. Yeah, that, but that 35-year-old yeah. dude didn't get that. Like, <laughs> that he came up and was like, "Well, oh, I'm gonna gain his respect, but is it gonna blow up?" Well, it's uh, like it's like you know the the the, the, the community is is great because it's like you know how to relate to people. 
and um, you know, and 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 so you know, you're huge. You provide people like me. A, like it's like here. I'm an. Wait, let me. Can I? All right, all right, all right. Go, go, ahead, go. Ahead. <laughs> I'm an This is like, uh, like ma matter I'm, and antimatter. Yeah. I'm 16, which means that I'm obnoxious and narcissistic. And then I see someone who is publicly obnoxious and narcissistic, and also 40. ramblingly, you know, so like I am at 15, and I think, hey, I, you know, filmmaking <laughs> is really hard to do and really hard to be successful in. But if me with a dashing beard, pirate man can do it, maybe I can, you know? And so that, that, that's, the, that's the thought. Yeah, thank you. That's why I want to, yeah. I, that's I love amazing. I mean, we can tell it. Ryan, before we do that, Ryan, Ryan uh, you're 15, 16. We can't get a straight answer out of you on that. <laughs> Uh, where do you see yourself at, uh, at 40 years old, where Dan is right now? Where, 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 if you had your pie-in-the-sky dreams, where would you be at 40? Well, uh, aim big, like, like aim, shoot for the moon. Yeah, well, um... Don't be bashful. I, okay, all right. I, I, know that, I know that you're normally a, a very bashful fellow, <laughs> but I want you to come out of your shell for once in your life and tell us where, where you think you, like, if you... If you could have your dream, where would you be at 40 years old? Well, um, you know, again, I think Joseph Campbell again. Oh. <laughs> well, you know, was it, was it Joseph Campbell who said, follow your bliss? So the dream shouldn't be, I want to have all the money, all of the cars, all of the mamas. The dream. <laughs> this is the effect I'm having on, uh, with the podcast. This is the new generation coming yeah. up. The That's dream is that the person you... generation of mama fuckers. The Harmon youth. <laughs> yeah, yeah you're, you're, you're corrupting the youth. But the, the, the you know, the dream is you... <laughs> With the vodka, you seem happy. You seem to have followed the bliss. You know, you that's, have, good. that's a good. That's a good takeaway for a sixteen-year-old. You have the vodka. I mean, and you, you seem you. You know, it's it's it's. You seem to be happy. I'm surrounded by people who like what they're doing. But what do you want, people, Ben? What do you that, want for yourself? Exactly. You, you want to be an alcoholic forty-year-old with a beard? If if that's what if, if if that if you're following your bliss and if this is like you know living as, as close as you can to being happy and feeling like you're you know. Um, if, well, yeah, no, I'm, I'm gonna, if, if, if life is essentially being I feel like you'd be, I feel like, I feel like you'd be very good selling, selling newspapers in a corner in the 30s. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a little hat. Wait, I just had to, just give, give, give us a topic, and we'll, uh, can, do you think you could talk simultaneously with me? We'll just both address a topic at the same time. Yes. Okay. Fun but, fact. So just Chicago ignore, ignore don't, don't, a, yeah. don't listen to me, and I won't listen to you, but okay. just talk to them. Yeah, uh, leap, ju leap forward. Ju ju just open your mind, talk straight out, don't listen to yeah. Dan. Dan, don't listen to Ben. This, this is, is like what we've been doing for the past pre precisely. lives. Precisely. For years, and I've been doing this for 16 years, so All right. it's like. Okay. Wait, what's the. Do we get a topic? Oh. Yeah, what's the topic? Uh, narcissism. All right. Oh. Okay. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah. Talk, yeah. All right. Yourself. So, narcissism is the, is, is the word that I use like, most you, often we live because in it, it's the, the, the name of narcissism. Yeah. Somebody yeah. Like, you looking look into a stream you at themselves. But the myth is originally you got turned into a plant by doing it, which means that you never close your eyes when you look at me. It's both crippling and invigorating and, and, and to the extent that you're person. honest about it. How can you not if you knew how to be honest yourself. about it, really you, you would be able like, to liberate I, I yourself. Was, like there's I'm, a version of narcissus was, that doesn't have to be a plant. Really cool. He could so get up and walk around and be narcissus but not be a plant. And then this is the beat, the beat this got really sad and existential. Like you got like, you know. Ben and Dan, everybody. Ben and Dan. Thank you, Ben. Ben, that was magnificent. Thank you, Ben. Of course you can ask me a question after the show. Can I ask you a question after, after uh, everything I do so that I can f uh, not kill myself? I, I, I want to check in with, a, with, a, with, with, with Ben after every, every, every oh, decision no, no, ben, I make. Yeah, but, but we're not done with Ben by any chance. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Where, 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 where are you sitting? Are you, uh... OK, go back there. And his, br his brother's cool, too. Don't get too jealous. He's one year older, and he's getting all the attention. But it's just because uh, it, you, next year I'll have you up. His, 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 his brother wants to be a graphic designer and Ben wants to be a director. You, you and I, it's Ryan, right? Richard, I, I knew that. We both know Richard's a cooler name and that graphic designers are more creative than directors. So, so, like, it's a, it's, you're an unsung hero. You, you're, 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 you're gonna have more of an impact than him, but he'll be, he'll be over there garnering all the attention and then 
probably autoerotic asphyxi asphyxiation. <laughs> uh, <laughs> autoerotic auto mutilation. <laughs> wow. <laughs> He, I mean, I think he meant manipulation, genital manipulation. I don't think he did, Dan. I think I think he knows what he means. I think I think he knows it. Right. That guy doesn't strike me as somebody who misspeaks. I think. He, <laughs> I think, I think we're talking about a mutilated penis. Was I wrong to bring him up? Was that was that a bad instinct? I, 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 I was, if, if you met him before a show, wouldn't you be like, could you come up a little bit, just keep, meet a couple friends of mine? I, I, yeah. I, I thought you might. No, yeah, if you're walking down a beach and you run, if you stub your toe in an old timey lantern, you have to, you have to rub it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to, have to mutilate it. it. Yeah. <laughs> Until there's nothing left. Uh, all right, should we, should, <laughs> should, we, should we put Spencer on the spot? Give him a free, excuse me, I'm burping. You okay, Dan? Give him a little. Uh, you need some Prilosec? You alright? No, I don't need Prilosec. Everyone, since, 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 since the night we asked for it, people have been bringing Prilosec like, <laughs> like, like, like just ancient people to some druidic temple. <laughs> it's a very expensive drug, uh, 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 Prilosec. It's heartburn medicine. I mentioned that I needed some in uh, like Somerville, and then this, uh, you know, people, people are bringing Prilosec like, uh, like a weird druidic ritual. It's. Uh, it's shameful and amazing and cool. Uh, why, why do you have such bad heartburn? What, is there, I don't know. But I have to. I have to. I have to go in and get it checked out because I was just noticing today. I saw a commercial for it. Uh, Larry the Cable Guy is the new spokesman for it. Uh, so I was like, I gotta. I gotta get off this train. And uh, but yeah, also, that, that, that I, that I certainly I, is a signpost. I never bothered to read the box, but I bothered to read the fine print on the uh, on the commercial. It, it had like like and it said, don't take it, take it for 14 days. And don't take it for more than four months. I've been taking Prilosec for like fucking, I don't know, season two of Community. Like I started, so, so I gotta go to the doctor again. The thing, the, I'm sure it's related to, uh, you know, Popeye's spinach here. Uh, 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 I'm sure it's not great on your epiglottis. It probably wore down maybe the flap above the bifap and the, and then so then maybe stomach acid gets gets up more. Uh, that's that's a guess. I'm not a doctor, but here's what the doctors did when I went to them. I went to my regular doctor. I said I'm having heart, I have frequent heartburn. He said how frequent? I said it's this frequent. He said, okay, you should go to a specialist. I'm like, great. Uh, that's what I expected you to say. That's how it goes. He gave me a referral. I went to this guy, the specialist. I went into the specialist. The specialist said, uh, what do you have? I, I have heartburn. How, how frequent do you have it? I have it this frequent. He said, okay, uh, uh, get up on the table, take down your pants. And I was kind of like, I didn't, didn't, he didn't say, I mean, I could have said no. <laughs> but I said, he just like kind of took charge and was like, like, get up on the table, take down your pants. And I was like, okay. And I took down my pants. He's like, Roll over, and 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 and, and he stuck his are you, finger. Are you sure he was a doctor? He stuck his finger up my ass, and and then felt around, and 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 said, everything seems fine. Uh, no sign of external hemorrhoids. Two things I know aren't true. The only thing that I know everything's not fine in my butthole. It's my butthole. I'm Dan Harmon. I, 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 I'm the butthole of people. I know my butthole isn't fine. It's not like a like like, like if you're a butthole expert, you don't. They, they know that there's. I, I don't want to. I, I don't. I, what part of heartburn didn't he understand? Wait, wait. What, how he shoved his finger How does your butthole ass. affect heartburn? I don't know. But after he did it, he gave me a referral to a specialist, and I didn't go, Jeff. And, oh. and, and, and well, because it fooled me twice. I did the first. The first guy did nothing. The second guy raped I'm gonna, me. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna send you to a guy named Ray Ray. And, uh... Yeah, who's that guy refer you to? The real doctor sent me to a rape doctor. And I don't mean a doctor that helps rape victims. Obviously, I told you the story. I meant, well, don't groan it. It's not a pun. It's not hee haw. Uh, it's rape. Whoever, right, whoever, Spencer, whoever groaned that, uh, Spencer, you take rape too lightly. Spencer, I, I, I'm gonna try to, I, I know you hate it, we're gonna put you on the spot. Spencer has a gift of creating monsters as a dungeon master out of, uh, out of thin air. The, uh, freestyle, Spencer. Freestyle monster DMing uh, the proctologist. With a creep, the door opens. <laughs> Immediately you feel something's not right. Take off your pants, he says. It's all right, he says. I'm a doctor, he says. But no. The proctologist. Yeah. He's good. Thank you.
Spencer, you're becoming a national treasure. You know that. Right? Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. He's he's becoming. Give me a job. Yeah. Uh, All right, yeah, we haven't asked you this. If you had any job in the world, what, what would your dream job be? It's, uh, no, no, no. Don't tell Apple this, but I'm a PC user. <laughs> yes. uh, D dishonest, dishonest Apple employee. Wearing a smile that can only be described as practiced. <laughs> the blue shirt in a pulling and purchasing, asking if you've found everything. But behind his eyes, you can tell he doesn't really care. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> but, uh, career? I don't know, man. I, I, I'm, you should be a writer. I mean, you, do, you, do you ever write anything down? Do you write stuff? I, I used to. Like, I can write when I'm prompted and I enjoy it, but, like, unless I'm prompted or have some reason to do it, I just won't do it at all. Well, it's like Dan Herman. <laughs> yeah, I, I, that's how I get the big bucks, baby. I guess I'm on the right track. Yeah, yeah. Spencer, I'm being attacked. Uh, I'm on a path, and I'm, I'm, I'm attacked by a, uh, a, a writer's block. What does it sound like? Oh. A large block interposes your path. <laughs> Looking around, you see no obvious exits. You sit down and see if you might be able to hammer out a solution. But none <laughs> arrives. <laughs> It'll be a long time. Uh, Your uh, genitals are mutilated. <laughs> Looking at the dripping mess between your legs. Uh, That's not, all the time we have, folks. Not, uh, uh, <laughs> uh, tip your way, Steph. Dripping mess, good heavens. Yeah, it's a, it's, it's a dungeon. So, Spencer, I'm being attacked by procrastination, specifically. I'm a writer, I'm on an adventure, I'm being attacked by the procrastination monster. Sitting at your desk, you come across a flash of insight. But then, a tweet. <laughs> all right, all right. That was it, yeah. <laughs> He's Cal Ripken. Uh, he really is. Uh, the Sixler. Sixler is an L. Yeah, the guys keep saying Sixer. You're gonna, like you're gonna, some, some guy in Germany is going to be getting all these uh, tweets. We love you. As gonna... in one who Sixles. Yeah. Why, what, what is the significance of Sixler? What okay, it okay. It, it's time, you guys. Um, we're going to. All right. Let's let's reveal Spencer's conjoined twin, the Fiveler. <laughs> Open your mind. Uh, the funny no, thing ahead. is, there is a Fiveler, but the Sevenler doesn't exist. Um, anyway, we were playing a game that was kind of like D and D, like a free form RPG that my friend ran, and um, he was trying to be interesting and offbeat. So for character creation, he drew what was kind of like one of those. Uh, Speaking, I don't know what they're called. I don't know. It was a circle with fucking drawings on it. And speaking spell? Yeah, I, I was. That's what I was thinking, but that's C not what it is. It's, it was a the C thing, say. like a farm animal noise machine. C and say, right? Yeah. Okay. C and say. So it was like the, the cow goes. Boom. Yeah, that's the one. But it, it, it had uh, objects, like it had a baseball and a head of lettuce and a colander and Master Chief from Halo. And um, so the idea was you pick two elements and then he forms your character. So I picked a, a, a bagel and a burglar and I became the bagler and I didn't like that. So I chose a six and a bagel and I became the sixler. And uh, we played the game and my friend was the colander. And um, it was a good game. Like instead of rolling dice to hit, we'd have to throw paper balls through like his move outstretched arms, like a circle. And so it was actually kind of interesting. But um, anyway, the sixler was just a pretty cool dude. And like a, a volcano exploded, and, but he was fine. Like he was right next to it and was just like, I'm a cool dude. And the lava like didn't affect him. And that just kept going on. Like I'd step into traps and the lot like the trap wouldn't affect me because I was a cool dude. And um, it wasn't my game. Like this was someone else's choice too. I could have died. Uh, but but yeah, so and then I thought the sixler sounds cool, like it's got an X, it's got the ks like sound, it's got like L sounds, R sounds, S sounds, all your good sounds. Um, 
And it's original enough to be an online handle. It's not the Sixler 42 or the Sixler Heart, you know, 1437. But it was just the Sixler. So uh, it, it, any time I sign up for an internet, I don't need, you know, numbers after it. So I just kind of stuck. All right, then. That's pra wow. practical. And, practical and sentimental. And, all right. Uh, what do you think? Is it, is it time to uh, uh, shift into oh, the... Uh, <laughs> this guy said, oh, God, yes. Are you saying we, we should play D&D right now? <laughs> <laughs> Aaron McGathy to the stage. Aaron McGathy. And then, wherever you want to make yourself at home. Uh, you you okay. won't be wait. the first person to, to, to yeah, just wait, did, wherever you want to be. Did, that, did, you, did you throw a, a die up on stage? Yeah, he did. So, I threw a die. All right. So, people are throwing panties. Yeah, people are throwing a. <laughs> Multi-sided die. Uh, he, he's the Tom Jones of D&D. <laughs> yeah. well, uh, you know, a, a pair of panties is, is less of a threat than like hard, round objects. Like, uh, um, you can uh, choke on those. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, you, and it, even if you don't, it's just like a, it's a fine line between a die and just a rock. How, how many people out there uh, in this audience of, of about, I would say, three hundred? How many of you have ever played D&D? Yeah. 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 All the people that got here first. <laughs> All those who lined up. Yeah. All right, uh, Spencer has uh, dispensed the uh, the character sheets. Should we? Do we, we should do a uh, D and D has also become a chance to do a relationship check in with uh, Aaron. <laughs> For those of you who listened to the Pittsburgh show, Boy. it was a doozy. Dan, I, I got uh, two more emails in the last <laughs> 30 minutes. From the same person? No, from different people regarding the show. Uh, three very different opinions about the whole the whole. Well, thing. I did want to say to the person that wrote Aaron an email, the subject line, dial it back, uh, <laughs> where they gave her a bunch of notes along the lines of, uh, 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 you know, you should, whatever, fuck you. Like, like Aaron. <laughs> Wait, I, I mean, it was I, fair. I, I, it was only fair. I get to uh, 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 suggest that, that that Aaron needs to be somehow psychologically broken. Uh, I, I, uh, the, the, she's the greatest hero on the face of the earth for ever even coming near me with her vagina. Uh, let alone That's her very mind nice, and you guys. her soul. I'm going to take that all the way to my heart, uh, I, I, I can't. <laughs> it, took, it took that, you reading that email to me, where someone was kind of on my side, in quotes, for me to go, fuck her, fuck me, fuck everyone. Like, like you're, you're the best. You endure a lot, and I'm so do sorry. Do we, do, we talk about, do we talk about those emails, or do we not want to rub, like, do not want to engage that person? You can read it. It's pretty interesting. I can, I, I, I can read it. I, I, and then I, I mean, it I, seems like a dangerous path. I have to walk three. Down. I do. I do. That I is true. Like, 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 you're not supposed to think what a serial killer writes to the New York Times. And you're like, <laughs> read will, this, or, or I'll <laughs> kill again. It's like, well, I wait also, a minute. <laughs> I also, I don't think that. Uh, just to clarify, I don't think that this email is. Unreasonable. No, um, it's possible it's to be on this person's road, side, but, but don't write a fucking email to a stranger and tell them their business. That's the, yeah, that's that's Why the interesting. A, a stranger is writing you emails. <laughs> like, it's, 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 how did they get your email address? It's my it's my podcast email. Oh boy. Yeah. Um, so so I ha so I have several emails. This one's about the Rhode Island show. Uh, goodness. All right. <laughs> hey everybody, sit back, relax. We're gonna read a negative email. Hi, Erin McGathy. Yes, I know I don't actually know you, but I am feeling compelled to write you after listening to Harmontown in Rhode Island because it sounds like you are about to self-destruct. You have to dial it back with the needing constant affirmation of Dan's unflinching love for you. You will drive him crazy and this will totally undermine your relationship. Asking about his dirty, uh, his dirty comments to the ladies at the previous show, I, I'm not sure what she's referring to, and then asking the audience if you should feel bad about if Jeff asking Dan, if this is a nice email, I'd correct her typos, but I'm just gonna read it as is. <laughs> if you should feel bad about if Jeff asking Dan about fetishes is a reflection of his lack of respect for your relationship, sounds really ugly and petty and unnecessary on your part. I am almost the same age as Dan and got that Dan was just joking and being dirty because he has a dirty mind and that shit's funny. I agree. I deserve him more than you. I deserve him. <laughs> Sitting in a room full of cats got dumped by a writer. Right. I got dumped by a writer taking it out on Dan's girlfriend. <laughs> also, 
Also, Jeff, uh, bring, also Jeff bring up fetishes is just good calm trolling because it's a titillating and taboo subject and therefore intriguing. I agree, I agree, I agree. Besides, he didn't exclude the possibility. <laughs> he didn't exclude the possibility that maybe you and Dan are working out new fetishes together. <laughs> do not take anything they say or do on stage personally. It's just for the funny and to make people think and possibly some sort of therapy for Dan. He sounds like he's feeling good on stage. I think this may have been written by a zebra. Uh, <laughs> I started listening to your podcast in Harmontown at the same time last year, and I am definitely a fan. So I guess I'm just rooting for you and Dan to continue through life together. That's nice. I really think you just don't need to worry so much about his feelings for you. He sounds way into you and that he would be straight up if something was a problem. So just relax and have fun. Brains could go crazy about minutia that isn't really important in the bigger picture, and it is a waste of time to dwell on it. Signed, the relaxation master. <laughs> or, or signed, Adam Schmoldberg. <laughs> uh, and I, I mean, Anonymous for those, email. Fa fascinating uh, phenomenon where it's like you go, okay, none of that, none, none of that I disagree with. Whatever. Yeah, it does, it, that's exactly all the shit I would say to Aaron. Like, hey, relax. It's just a show. What a blah 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 blah. blah don't self distract. But yeah. fuck you, lady. Fuck you. <laughs> like it's I a did, full time job being my girlfriend. It's a horrible, horrible. <laughs> did you see Backdraft? It's worse than that. It's so much worse. Like but the fire is a better. living thing. It's. A, um, <laughs> The, uh, I, I did, I got a, I won't, I, I won't read it, I'll just paraphrase it. I, I did get another email which, which uh, hit home. I got an e another email that said that, uh, from somebody who just, who heard the Pittsburgh show? Uh, yeah. <laughs> ah! <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, I got another email about the Pittsburgh show in which um, I expressed some insecurity, but as Dan and I discussed earlier today, Dan and I had this really big fight and no <laughs> in a world uh dan and i had a really big fight dan talked about it on stage and as i was sitting backstage i was thinking about the fight and i was feeling very sad went on stage and dan said hey like was i dishonest about anything like you you know you've been uh, been backstage you haven't had a chance to say your side of the story dan hadn't said anything dishonest but I felt like it just, just hearing him talk about it again made me feel upset. But instead of saying, yeah, that fight made me feel upset, I latched onto something that was more shallow, this, like, this bit about masturbating to a 17-year-old volleyball player. <laughs> and so, I, uh, which I, the, I got an email saying, hey, like, Harmontown's for fun, and this feels terrible as for sadness. <laughs> so, <laughs> which I was like, my podcast is fun sometimes. It's sad fun. It's a lot of sad. It's a lot of sad. <laughs> right? We laugh through our tears. Um, but they, they, they were worried that, and this is Dan's worry, they were worried that because I had said I, it hurt my feelings that you talked about this, that Dan would stop talking about things like that or he would censor himself. And I want to say to that person and every listener that no, he can talk about whatever he, he likes and that's why I'm crazy in love with him and I'm going to have all of his little weird babies. And, and it's, it's but fine I, 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 and duly noted. But, but he talked about something and it made you cry. You came out on stage and said you were crying. Which I is was. Fine, which is I, fine. Yeah, but I was it's not fine. It's not fine to be afraid. It's not fine I for some reason. I mean, the, I mean her fight. coming out crying is the fine. Like, uh, let's talk about, let's talk, she, did someone say she's going to pay for it? And, <laughs> No, no, no. Yeah, they, oh, they're, no. They're just ordering wings. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they're here with their mom, and they're ordering wings. Side so note, Dan and I were just in London, and I fainted two times on the Jack the Ripper tour. So when I hear something like, she's going to pay for it, I'm like, holy fuck. <laughs> Dan on the streets. Um, yeah, so Dan can say whatever he wants. Uh, here are some things. We've been on, on the road. Totally great. And and wonderful and it's it's been it's been a lot of fun but like there are some like unseen stresses. You're she, about, you're... she she fell down, you guys. She fell down the stairs. No, I, I thought that joke was obvious that it was like you were because you're you're on my side now and you're going everybody dance great we're having a great time and, uh, and well, but I mean, clearly but... I'm an abusive boyfriend I'm a terrible person I'm a bad you're person. Not, you're not an abusive boyfriend. Thank uh... you. Thank you. <laughs> You, you psychologically I don't, I don't fell. Want to, uh, <laughs> I don't want to continue Onto to... Onto the doorknob of Dan Of the Pittsburgh <laughs> show. I don't want to blame things on my, on my hormones endlessly because I don't want to fuck things up for my, my sisters. 
But um. But if I did, it would go a little something. I like this. Like the period rap. Oh shit! <laughs> Hold up. Period rap. Keep it going while I find the file. Okay. Repeated rhyme, repeated rhyme. Well, now that you're sorry, it forces me to beat on me worse than you have ever beat on me because I have to be self-loathing so that you figured out how to get the upper hand with me all the time, <laughs> which is by taking the low road. Uh, uh, so congratulations and welcome to owning me forever. Uh, I love you. Please don't dump me. <laughs> Breakdown. Period rap. Period. 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 Once a month. Period. Three to five days. Clean it out. Clean it out. Three to five days. Clean it out. Clean it out. Three to five days. Make some space. Is it over? Period. And Frank's. And Frank's. I wanted to. It was such a mainstream rap, I wanted to add a tinge of indie. Just throw in a random thing, make it more of a Lena Dunaby kind Fun of... Fun fact, Anne Frank died before she could have a period. Yeah. Maybe I don't know what being in love Very is, bad. but your, your, your guy's version of being in love is fucking complex. I think it looks a lot like... I don't like, think so. I, don't I think you're no, right. No, it I, is. I, also, I think I... it's when two people love each other and themselves so much <laughs> that they don't care about the entertainment of the whole world. <laughs> I also, I, I got, I would like uh, to, to conclude this bit and then to enter into Dungeons and Dragons, I would like to read uh, the final email that I got, it's very short. Uh, this is gonna be the one that says fuck Dan and you're gonna lose no. everybody. This is, this is from a nice gentleman named Rob. Hi Aaron. I just wanted to let you know that the podcast of Harmon Town from Pittsburgh brought me to tears. Not because you and Dan fought, but because I recently got divorced, and part of the reason we didn't stick together is that we never talked about how we really felt with each other like you and Dan are able to do. I know you feel insecure about your relationship with him, but I think you have a huge advantage in that you are able to express yourselves and let each other know how you feel. If you can do that, I'm sure that love will carry you, carry you the rest of the way. Rob. Unsolicited email advice. But the kind you like, it's the kind you like, because it enables you. Unsolicited. It enables you. I'll complain about everything else but this. Be <laughs> Just tell me I'm pretty and I look, then today I'll be fine. <laughs> Spencer, we're being attacked by menstruation. Looking at the calendar with a start, you realize it's her time. Tiptoeing past the door, you think you can make it down the stairs. But then you hear the shattering sound of porcelain on drywall. Uh, that's it. <laughs> I, I, I know that the next round of emails is going to be uh, subject headings like, just let Spencer talk and uh, stop, get Dan and Aaron off the stage. Uh, yawn about the relationships. Yeah. Uh, Send your emails to emagathy at gmail.com. Is that right? Uh, yeah! Alright, All right, Spencer, if you will, uh, at long fucking last, take us up to date for the D&D uh, &D campaign. <laughs> After meeting up with a group of fish-dwelling humans and stopping by their small village, this, the group headed to the store to pick up some potions and some <laughs> paralyzing injectors as well as a length of rope. They set off down an esophageal tube to fish south, where the fabled Kenny either died or never existed in the Lake of Acid. Crossing the lake on Tenzer's floating disc and entering a dangerously speedy sphincter, the group found themselves on a narrow ledge with a small campsite. There they met, I can't remember his name, I'm gonna call him Thomas. The prince of some fiefdom or other I can't remember. Valicent. Valicent, yeah, okay. Wait, are you making this up? 
No, it's just I didn't write down names. I never do names. Name this is, is hardly the stage, Spencer. I, I wrote it down. To be improvising. Spencer, I, 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 Dan, Dan mocked me in Bloomington, but I wrote down, it's, it's Valicent was his name. Awesome. Oh, okay. my God. <laughs> see, <laughs> yeah, see, even that's mess up on my, on my note behalf. So, Valicent, the prince of the fife <laughs> <laughs> it's hard. It's, I, it's an iPad mini and my fingers are huge. How do you have time to take all those notes between creating all those anonymous email accounts? <laughs> I will never reveal my secrets, Mr. Harlan. <laughs> hey, Dan, uh, dial it back, would you? <laughs> I would love to. <laughs> After being lured by talk of swords, Valicent returned with the heroes to the small inner fish village. They were off to free themselves from the confines of the Infinifish. So you guys are in that village again. Remember, you kind of went in a big circle after finding uh, Valicent. Okay, here's the deal. I just want to say something as a player at the table. All right. We are at the point in the tour where past the meeting of the goddess, that much is probably clear. It's time to atone with the father. That means accepting your own death. There's no better way to accept your own death than to give way to 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 the you know like the Father Kronos and the Baby New Year and the you know the, like the snake sheds its skin. I want the part of Sharpie Butts a lot to be played for this segment in Chicago by Ben, yeah! my 16 year old self, 15 and a half year old Ben. Please come to the stage. You're sure you butts a lot. For the, big fan. Big I've been, fan. I've been stuck in this fish for three episodes. You're 16, 15. Maybe you can figure it out. You've, you've just started mutilating yourself. And here you go. Here's the microphone. Thank you. So are we in a fish? Yeah. Have you ever played yeah. before? No. Okay. okay. So basically, you pretend what I'm saying is true. <laughs> and uh, you act accordingly. Just like church. Yeah, cool. just like church. <laughs> Standing up, standing up for Ben. Standing up. Church. This is great. Dan, he's he, he's Dan, he's funnier than you. <laughs> yeah, but my trick is since I framed it with like he's me, doesn't no, matter. Yeah. I, I don't I've become Dan, Bud Friedman. Dan, I, I don't want to get super gross, but uh, if uh, I did, it would go a little. If summer. I did. Ben looks identical to my first boyfriend, Eric Eldard, who showed me his penis in the shower. Identical, identical. show you how to do things. I'm just kidding. How do we get these stripes off the sweater? Uh, I'm just kidding, I'm sorry. Please stop me, no, no, or I'll okay. continue to be gross. Okay. Uh, well, no, like, I don't go to jail. So, it's like, you know, I mean, I, I'm not, I'm, it's your fault. Not yet, <laughs> Are we playing the in We are. <laughs> that won't stop me teaching you things, though. <laughs> Something terrible is about to happen. <laughs> All right, so Spencer, we got uh, uh, Prince Va Va Valison, what's his name? Valison, yes. And, uh, and uh, he has the sword knowledge, he, he has the far sword capabilities. The, the, the power of the far sword. I say we, uh, you, it, it's probably the right idea to go destroy this animal from the inside and let, let's march towards the heart of this beast. Absolutely, All right. positively. All right. Thank you, Ben. I mean, I mean, I mean Sharpie. 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 Sharpie, thank you, sir. Thank you, Sharpie. Yes. Valison grumbles. I don't know about killing this thing, but uh, you do have to do some damage if you're going to want to escape. Let's head fish west. Fish west? I head fish west. You guys head fish west. At the far wall of a vigil, vigil, vi the village, you're met with what appears to be a largish meat curtain. This is your education. Ben, these things will happen. Don't it's worry a, about it. Okay. Yeah, it's just a meat curtain. It's a curtain of meat. It's a curtain of meat. Right. Don't think. Do we think sentient? About it uh, is part of a sentient being. Okay. Because we're in fish. Yeah. But we're not actually. I'm almost like certain we're breaking some sort of okay. law right yeah. now. Yeah. I understood, I understood that. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm not bashful, but I think this is, this is illegal. <laughs> Wait, ha haven't we already. Uh, for the lack of a better word, penetrated this meat curtain before. <laughs> this is actually a different meat curtain. No, it's, it a meat curtain. it's a okay. new meat curtain. Okay, it's amazing meat curtain. All right, uh, I, I, I approach the meat curtain uh, boldly because I've, I'm no stranger to the meat curtain, and uh, and uh, 
I, I, I boldly uh, press myself through it. <laughs> we all press ourselves boldly through the meat curtain. Oh, all right. right. Yeah. yeah, let's do it together. As a team, you stride through the folds of the meat curtain. <laughs> Behind the curtain is a passage. It's relatively narrow, but still quite wide, considering it's inside of a living creature. From far off, you can hear the thumping of hearts and the sloshing of blood being pumped through great veins and arteries. Yeah, it's just like mine. Mm -hmm. no. I know, yeah. apparently. The floor is slick and squishy, and you find it quite difficult to stand up straight, let alone move. You can see circular holes in the ground full of bubbling green acid. Through the passage is a larger curtain of meat. Jesus, so Spencer. We, we, we have to cross a floor that's uh, slick, and it's got holes in it, and acid's bubbling through it? Yeah, so it's full of acid holes. So Spencer, take we need 20? to go across this, uh, this acid hole area, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Can I can I take my rope and tie it to an arrow and shoot it across the yeah like in the ceiling and then swing across like Star Wars? Oh okay. So do you want to attempt that? Uh, yes. Yes. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> the, Spencer. 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 Yeah. No, I was about to. Sp have, Spencer. Sorry. In the game of Dungeons and Dragons, you can take a ten or a twenty. A okay. ten is when you have a short amount of time devoted to a task, like if you're tying your shoes and you had twenty minutes, you could take a ten. Um, you know, that'll give you a decent success rate. If it's not very difficult, you'll automatically pass. Um, if you have plenty of time, like an hour or two, uh, you can take a 20. That means you automatically, uh, you know, as if you rolled a 20. But you require a long period of time, and it can't be a task that you can fail at. For instance, falling and slipping in a pile of acid. Oh. I applaud your efforts, sir. <laughs> so, is this a time to, to, to take a 20? So if I take a 20, what, what, what's, the, uh, what's the consequence? In this case, I'm going to rule you can't take a 20 because the, the, the stakes are life and death. You don't oh, okay. have time to mess up and, and fix it. Wait, I have a, I have yeah, a question. Yeah, go for it. Hypothetically, uh, I have like a Ray of Frost thing. Mm -hmm. Because I listen to the podcast, so can I um, try to cast a spell and build a bridge across the lava or whatever? <laughs> All right, you can attempt it. Ray of Frost is a rather weak spell. You okay. know, the best well, you can I, manage I, I, a meter I bridge. I, I'm not literate, so That's no, fine. I mean, I'm, there, there's tiny writing. Where are my skills? Your yeah. skills or your spells? Dan, go help him. Dan, Dan, mentor him. Do something, Dan. <laughs> Be a father so to your sorry. child. I'm so sorry. It's like adaptation. It's so. Good. I think. I think Dan, 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 are you actually afraid of Ben a little bit? Uh -huh. okay. <laughs> so there's. All right. So um, here are your spells, your special abilities. The spells are on a different page. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That back page is all your spells, man. <laughs> I'm helping. <laughs> <laughs> what? So, so Eric. No, 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 no. You can't. Here's a problem with the bet. You can't yes and it. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. So. All right. So can I? So uh, I'm actually. I've never. I've never looked at Sharpies. Yeah, you don't have before. spells. No, I don't have is spells. There, is there a way for me to make a bridge? There is no way for you no to make way. a bridge. <laughs> okay, so there oh, we go. Uh, uh, Spencer, I, I have the, uh, I'm, a, uh, I'm a plus nine for jump. Yep. Can I jump? <laughs> Can I jump? I, I, I try to jump across this expanse. Okay, the, the thing's 30, 30 feet long. Like, you can jump over individual puddles, definitely, but I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. I, I'll say you can jump about 30% uh, of the way. Uh, well, I, I jump. I jump uh, to to the first part, uh, the, the, to the first lily pad of whatever that is. You jump successfully. All right. Yeah. Okay. I have one more question. Never yeah. had a lesson. Um, my my future self uh, from the future. Uh, appeared to me and suggested I use Tenzer's floating disc. If, yeah. Is it possible for me to like put that ahead of Quark? Quark, <laughs> so that when he next jumps, he can land on it and then like somehow move it again, so that we sort of hopscotch him across. Yeah. If I were to uh, nice. advise that strategy, I'd put it right over one of those holes of acid, so like he could just like step lightly upon okay. it. Okay. So I cast Tenzer's floating disc. Waving your hands in a magical manner, <laughs> a shimmering disc appears. <laughs> Okay. Ben, today you are a man. <laughs> Thank you. This is 
is your har mitzvah. <laughs> Trademark. <laughs> the, quark, the Quark. That's your name. Yes. Uh, quark. You yeah. see a Tenzer's floating disc. I, I, I jump upon it. You jump upon it. You are upon a Tenzer's floating disc above a pile of acid. I, uh, can I jump to the next, uh, to the next place? Um, you are struck by a tentacle that whips out of a wall with a flash. Shit. Oh, it grabs I, you by the ankle. I take an arrow. You take an arrow. I shoot the arrow at the tentacle. Yeah. He won't appreciate it, but I'll do it. Critical hit. Because you shot one arrow. <laughs> Your arrow slices through the air, time. cleaving the tentacle in twain. Sharp uh, quark is released, Wait. falling onto the tenzer's floating disc. Okay, I cast the thing against me, lands on it. Can I oh, it's it? already there. It's oh, still okay. there. It just follows it. Right, I, yep. I, I, so what, what's in front of me? Can I jump to the end of the expanse? Uh, you can jump most of the way. Um, <laughs> sounds like a bad idea. Wait. Is there a way for me to simultaneously move the thing forward as he jumps so they're both in there at the same time so he lands on it as he lands and they can then jump and finish? You can move it with him on it without can jumping. We, let's just do that. Yeah. <laughs> Sharpie, you, you move it. I don't have to jump so much. Okay. All right. How about this? You move it, I'll jump. So I'll, I'll wait until half of the movement and I'll jump the rest yeah, of the way. Yeah, time it so that... Oh, wait, yeah. just kidding. Can I just move it forward? Right. Also, yeah. I have arrows. <laughs> yes. Say what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He could just move, he, he, you could just move me all the way across. With right? arrows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Hey Ben, uh, your dad's cool, right? He... <laughs> all right, yay! Okay, cool. Quark is, is across sure. the passage. No, I'm across the passage. <laughs> you see a large curtain of meat. Thank you, sir. <laughs> but what about you guys? What just happened? Oh, fuck him. Can we wait? <laughs> Can I? Huh? Can we just like ferry us back and forth with the floating disc? Yeah. I, I said. Nice. I, I like it. I harness all of my training at Frisbee Golf and I send the floating disc. Yay. College. Back towards Sharpie and Mulrain. Take it, a 20. I, you, you take five, Hotshot. <laughs> that happens. Okay. So they have the disc now? Yeah. All right. All right, we're floating across. Yep. Yay. So, but they have to get on it. I think Mulrain is still a... reduced, by the way. Like, you're, you're short right now. <laughs> OK. Is that, so then that's, we both that's, fit. That's cool, right? Yeah, it's Cute. fine. I have a little pocket. Can you put me in your pocket? Not that small. Yes. Calm down. Oh, wait. oh. You're quark-sized. But in any case, we're both small people, because I'm young Dan Herman now. Young Sharpie butts a lot now. So I don't know what game you're playing, but the time I, continuity uh, marches on. Uh, you're, you're, you're Sharpie butts a lot. I, I, jump yes. on, I jump on Sharpie's back. OK, and we, okay. we, we go across. Yeah. yeah. That happens. Yay. Are they across? Are we all They're across. All right, so what are we looking at now? A meat curtain. A meat curtain. <laughs> Another meat curtain? Yep. I, uh, I, uh, I lube myself up and I, 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 I gently insert myself inside the meat curtain. Please. Easing yourself in. Please. What, what word? A cleave. Cleave, okay. I, can, I, 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 I cleave the meat curtain. <laughs> Easing yourself through the meat curtain, you find yourself in a circular green room. Three bluish holes mark either or mark the wall ahead of you, left, right, and center. Are we all together? No, yeah. no it's just you right now. Standing in the middle of the room is a strange tendril of flesh sprouting out of the ground, on the end of which is a large eye with a multicolored iris. The eye sways back and forth ponderously. Where, that's not a uh, anatomy. So, th I, so I, I'm in a room right now, inside the meat curtain chamber, three bluish holes, yep. left, right, and center. Yep. There's, a, there's a, a giant tendril with a multicolored iris eye swaying ponderously in front of yeah. me. Yeah, okay. yeah, ponderously. Um, I, uh, does it look like a foe? It, it might very well be. Um, well, I think it's, I should, I, I invite the rest of the gang, and I, I yell through the meat curtain, uh, come on in, the water's great. <laughs> we slickly slide through the meat curtain. Slick, slickly, you slide. You too see the thing, same thing that I mentioned earlier. 
can we, can we, do we try to communicate with it? Can um, we, yeah. You have parts of charisma. I, uh, I'm like weirdly good at like, this is like, I understand. I use, di I use diplomacy on the, on, on the, uh, the eyeball. Yeah. You don't speak the same language. Fuck. Oh. Ah. I should say, it does not speak any language. Oh, oh. interesting. Oh, so May I use wild empathy? Uh, yeah. I already do that. You can't get a read on it. Normally, you tend to use body language to determine how an animal's feeling, but this is a giant eyeball on a staff, or a you know, stalk. Sharpie, use, use one of your skills. Um... Wait, I can't make it sleep because do we need to uh, extrapolate information from it or something? It shoots a blue ring okay. beam, striking mole rain directly in the no. chest. No. 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 I, um, you only take one damage. Calm down. Uh, <laughs> All right, sorry. Let me redo um, that sound effect. Ah. Uh. I, sleep. Sleep. Yeah, sleep. I will. He's entitled to a will save. He passes. Oh. He shrugs off the sleep. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna have to do this, and I, I try not to uh, try, try not to fly off in a rage, but I go into a berserker rage. And <laughs> I go you, into a berserker rage. You hear the voice of Valisit in your ears. Yes, use the rage. Harness the rage. Flaming sword. <laughs> You strike directly on the eyelid. With a reflex, it manages to shut its eye, so you haven't damaged its eye. However, you do deal uh, 11 damage. 11 damage? Oh, right. Hey, Sharpie, really quick, while we're alone. Are we cool? We're cool. Okay. 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 I'll buy you a bouquet of giant fish monster flowers. Okay. Yeah. Sounds like you really understand women. I do. <laughs> Look at the sweater. Look at the sweater. Is um is, is he still hitting the eye with the sword? He's he's completed his strike. <laughs> it's your it's your turn, Sharpie. Sharpie. Okay. Scorching ray, I think, is your most powerful. Ray. Thank you. My Obi-Wan conscious appears to me once again in a ghostly haze to my they're out of my vision. It's not the voices again. It's the ghostly conscious. I, I, uh, uh, what? Burning, burning ray. Scorching, Scorching ray. ray. Casting your arms in a magical manner. Several <laughs> bursts of fire streak forth. They strike it directly in the stock. Uh, it's engulfed in flames for a brief moment before taking five damage. Uh, five damage. So it's got 16 hits right now. Yep. All right. Maureen. Yeah. You're nope. Oh, shit. The yeah. eye sways ponderously and its iris changes to green. No. Oh, green. Quark. <laughs> Even though you're in the throes of a barbarian rage, you can't help but stare longingly at the eye. Uh-oh. You okay. find yourself compelled to attack your friends. Uh-oh. No. I, he, I already rolled the will save. He uh, got a four. <laughs> um, is he attacking us now? Uh, is, is there anything I can do in my defense? Uh, you can attack the, uh, you know, your friends. <laughs> I don't attack my friends. <laughs> All right, well, you kind of have to. I, wait, I have to attack my friends? You're being compelled by the magical eye to attack your friends. Uh, it seems like a good plan. I cast sleep. Can I make him sleep? Uh, the, you cast a spell. It would be him, Mulrain, and then you again. What? So it's Quark's turn, then Maureen, then you can cast a spell. Oh, wait, wait, I, I, I don't want to attack my friends, right? Well, that's the great thing about being charmed and compelled by otherworldly forces. You can do things you don't want to. Uh, I, I throw a, a portable hole in front of me and fall into it, so I, 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 I missed my attack. Uh, no? Roll mm, dice. You fall into a portable hole. <laughs> Two people just intercepted my air high five. <laughs> We're cool, Jeff. All right, cool. Mulrain. Go. Uh, gosh, well, I, uh, I, I <laughs> shoot an arrow. <laughs> I, I, uh, that I still like looking around, right? Yeah. Can I use wild empathy? No, I already did that. Can I, I'll shoot, gosh, I, I'm sorry guys. I, 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 I shoot two arrows at the eye. One at the eyelid 
and one at the eyeball. And as I'm shooting, I slow motion say, adventure! You should probably just try. I mean, you should just try. Both of your arrows hit their mark. <laughs> Dealing 13 damage to the enemy. All right. And, uh, I uh, summon monster. OK, which monster would you like to summon? Summon monster two. Yeah. Summon mo mo thank you. Summon monster too. I think last time you had a fiendish squid and a, a celestial bee. So either one. What fiendish? All right. If you give me a second, we'll look up okay. other things you can summon. Go with squid. Go with squid. Yeah. Wait, does the squid? Is it? Does it like then die in front of me? Yeah. Tragic? Well, that's that's mean. That's. They love it. Common morality is in flux. Badger! Oh, is there a badger? Badger! I feel like an otter. I'm, I'm waiting. Is there an otter or like a, a cuddly, furry animal? I'm going to say yes. Gonna say, okay, so I, 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 um, well, no, it makes sense because, um, you know, the, the animals never die. They never, you never, you never kill the dog. So that's, in most media works, you know, it's, you, they don't. Yeah, okay, do I have that? Do you have what? A mannequin leg. Nope. <laughs> then, what? Okay, all right. Well, then I summon Badger. Okay, you summon a dire Badger. Uh, Dan, what is Standing this before you, the, devi the dire Badger waits for its orders. I can take care of him. <laughs> the Badger adorably hits the eye with its uh, finger, tail, claw, bite. It attempts to claw the eye, but fails. Oh. All that. Uh, Spencer, what, what does my power bracelet do? It gives you plus two to strength. Mm, I see. Uh, <laughs> what is hat of, hat of disguise? It lets you disguise yourself as another humanoid. That's not gonna work. You uh, feel compelled to attack your teammates. <laughs> Again? Why do I keep doing that? Because you're still compelled. Oh. I don't. You, seeing as how you're stuck in a pit, that, that works. Okay, go ahead. Cliffhanger? Cliffhanger? Do we, that would put it in the eye stock's turn. Oh, wrong dice. It, its eyeball turns red and it stares directly at Sharpie. It shoots a red gaze at you, but you shrug it off. <laughs> Uh, whose turn is it? Sharpies? Uh, Sharpies, yeah. Sharpies. Sorry, guys. Oh, okay, so I uh, charm uh, the, 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 the small, the, the, the... Quark. Quark. Yep. Yep. All right. Quark can willingly fail his uh, will save to be afflicted by your charm spell, so he's back on your side. Yay. Right. Although still in a portable hole. <laughs> I, I shoot uh, two sleep arrows. Two sleep arrows. At the eye. Both of the sleep arrows impact the creature. All right. You feel its eye grow heavy, and it falls to the ground. <laughs> Lil, it's asleep. It's asleep. It's asleep, guys. It's asleep. Yay. I have a question. Is she still reduced through all of this? Yep. It's, okay, cool. I was just being bothered by that. Power attack. You're in a hole. Huh? You're in a hole. I get out of the hole. Wait, how does he de-hole up on himself? Huh? Huh? Hey, uh, hey, uh, Sharpie, a little help? Get me out of yes, the hole. Yes, I... Wait. Just, um, just reach down and pull me out of the okay. hole. Yeah. I reach down and pull him out of the hole. Is there rope? Oh, I have a rope. You pull Here. him out of the hole. All oh, right. Well. Yeah. I take my sword, my great sword, and go into a power attack. All right. Automatically confirm critical hit. Oh. Whoa! You deal 28 damage, severing the eye. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you, Pio. I You're... smell Sharpie's hair and smile. <laughs> it smells kind of like fish guts. So, to... so did we kill the eye stock? You killed the eye stock. All right. Yeah. Uh, Do you want to pick, like, there's three paths if you want to, like, pick or uh, Valisense around also. Is now a good time for a cliffhanger? Cliffhanger! Yeah. cliffhanger. 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 Uh, Spencer, everybody! Yeah.
Let's have a hand for young Dan Harmon. Ben. Thank you, sir. Aaron McGaffey, everybody. Aaron McGaffey. Thank you, Ben. What a good sport. I'm sorry, Jeff. Ben, always respect women and uh, and uh, don't drink too much and uh, and 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 write write drafts quickly. Like. Uh, <laughs> Just get through, a, get through a bad one first, and you can always rewrite it later. Just trying to think of everything I do wrong. Is, man, uh, is requesting chicken noodle, chicken noodle man. Or chicken, it's chicken noodle dick, right? Here I am. I ain't got, got a dick, I got a chicken noodle can. All my life, I've been putting this can inside my chicken noodle wife. Chicken noodle guy come down from the mountain saying, Chicken noodle man, you gotta work all day. Chicken noodle man, you gotta cross the river Jordan. Feed the devil's soup until your troubles go away. Soup to the bowl, bowl to the spoon. Spoon to the mouth, you're gonna get well soon. You gotta get some bed rest sleep until noon. Drink a cup of coffee, then head to the saloon saying, Chicken noodle guy come down from the mountain saying, Chicken noodle man, you gotta work all day. Chicken noodle man, you gotta cross the river Jordan. Feed the devil soup until your troubles go away. Well, the wind blows down, then come what may. My chicken noodle wife let me just the other day. There's not much else I can do but pray. My chicken noodle man, you gotta work all day. Chicken noodle guy, come down from the mountain saying, Chicken noodle man, you gotta work all day. Chicken noodle man, you gotta cross the river Jordan. Feed the devil soup until your troubles go away. Good, good request, sir. Pringles did. Some people call me Pringles, but I never really found out why. I don't really have a Pringles dick, I just keep my dick inside. Bo, bo, bo. I, I keep my dick inside a Pringles can because it keeps my penis safe and dry. Some people call me Pringles dick, but I never really found out. No, I never found out. I never really found out why. <laughs> we're, we're becoming Van Halen, minus the... Play the hits! <laughs> my, my, minus the body of work. Panama! Panama. Bum, bum. Put my dick in a butt, Panama! Um. <laughs> All right. What lessons have we learned? What, what are you crying? Why are you crying out? Come on. R Ragnarok? What? He wants, a, he wants a mama rap. Oh, a mama rap. I mean, I, I don't know. If you guys are all caught up on the podcast history, I'm, I'm getting worse and worse at, 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 at rapping. Uh, I, partly because, you know, like my Uno cards of rhyming, like mouth and south, we know that. Balls, Niagara Falls. Maybe that means you guys can help me out. Maybe that's the. <laughs> like, there's a, there's a really good chance if I say mouth, I'm probably gonna say well, south. Well, then, then don't say mouth. And vice versa. Don't yeah, but say I can't, mouth. But if I if I think twice about anything, then it, then it's all fucked. Like that's. Is the anybody problem. here an actual rapper? Is can anybody anyone freestyle? Yeah. We're in right Chicago. Yeah. Yeah. That's his hand shot up. This like hand shot up. He, he's got blonde Eminem hair. He's got a little hair. bit of an early early Eminem look. Yeah. All right, well, let's. Yeah, uh, what's your name? Is it out? There you go. Sweet. I'm totally bluffing, by the way. <laughs> yeah. uh, I mean, do you want to give it a shot, though? Yeah, I do. G give me some free. Do you ever freestyle, or are you just bullshit? Sometimes. Uh, you know, like, well, have alone, you done it successfully? They will turn on you like a fucking pit of vipers. Dude, I don't care. Like, they, they support people who come up like, earnestly. And, look, like, I'm, I'm a rapper who just bluffed its way on stage. I love haters. Okay, well, show me some shit. Sh Okay, you guys know the refrain to this. Yeah. Do, do, do. Come on down to Harmon Town. Turn that frown upside down. Pee is yellow, poop is brown. Come on down to Harmon Town. Yo, Boomy, cause I fucked your mom. I'm gonna fuck her real hard. And then I'm gonna go to the store. Buy some apples to put on her face. She's gonna be a huge disgrace. But I fuck her like she was a dog and then all me a hog. She called me a pig because I'm sexist, but I don't even care. You boom me, but I'm not even scared of your hate. 
Cause it's not my fate to be brought down by you I'm gonna hit you in my face with my fucking shoe and Come on down to Harmontown You bring back the frown upside down My dear hero Please get up Poopin's brown Race Come down to Harmontown on stage and doing a rap and uh, it's kind of a piece of crap but that's fine i don't care i'm okay with the guy and then uh look at me i'm fly like superman in the sky real high but i don't have a cape because uh it's why don't i have a cape i don't know i should get a cape they're pretty no, cool no 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 no, no. Yeah. All right, all right. thank you though what was your name Alex, all right, Alex. I'm Alex uh, thank, thank thank you, Alex. He's not necessarily a villain. We have a gentleman right there. Thank Alex, everybody. Uh, all right. Contestant okay. number one. We, <laughs> is, this be, is this because of the gong show or evening at the Apollo? There's a, is, are you raising your hand? Like, uh, oh, I thought you were like, you were ordering a drink or? Okay. Is there any, anybody else think they can outdo? I can grab For real. Like, for real. Like, for, but for you, real. You can. Uh, uh, all right, we, we got, we got, we got, okay, we got a hand in the back. I feel, I want to put, like, I, 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 I want to, I want to discover, like, a, like, a fucking, like, a... You, you, you want to find a new challenge. A hero, yeah. All right, yeah. what is your name? Mason. 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 All right, Mason, everybody. All right. Uh, let's become an MTV pilot. Oh, Hello? All right, let's give him a, let's give him a chorus. Come on down. Turn that frown upside down. Talent he is yellow, poop is brown. Come on down to Harmontown. I haven't fucked mom since 1968. I don't know why, but that was pretty great. I got on the stage at Harmontown by my friends. I don't really have friends, but both. <laughs> 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 from Dan Harmon, so I, maybe I should continue to do my thing. Maybe not. I think Spencer's on the stage. What's up, dude? I like your beard. Um. <laughs> All right, get the next one up here. Get, get, let's, get the, let's make the rotation faster. Thank you, Mason. Mason. But, That's uh, it. You're That's not it. a bad person. You're not All a bad right. person. Who's in next? Who's in next? We're just gonna go faster. I want, okay. All right, no, 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 no. I'm sorry, follow my finger. Look what we got. Yeah, yeah, I'm pointing at you. You better believe it. Shit. I don't want to be racist or anything, but... Of course I'm pointing at you. What's your name? Ahmad. L what's that? Ahmad. Ahmad. Yeah. Fucking awesome. Uh, come on down to Harmon Town. Turn that frown upside down. Ringer. is yellow, poop is brown. Come on down to Harmon Town. I need some words. Straight birds, mm. <laughs> fucking them birds. What you know? Fuck what you heard. Sleeping, getting turds. Yeah, fucking them turds. Oh shit, the fucking turds. Eating birds and fucking turds. I need some words when I fuck turds like they were birds. I want yeah. to get some wings, gonna fly in the sky. I need some turds to eat, but some poop gets in my eye. It goes into my eyeball and down my throat. Fucked your mama in a castle and her pussy was the moat. Oh, Turn down to Harmon Town. Words Turn that frown upside down. Race is yellow, poop is brown. Black, come on down to Harmon Town. Yo, about, yo, 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 <laughs> yo, 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 then she said, drama. I was over there and I said, mama. Oh. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's, let's keep the road. Right. I'm fine, everybody. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Right. Who, who, who's the contender? Who's the contender? Thank you, brother. God damn it. Anybody else? We need a, we need a fucking hero here. All right. Well, this guy's been pretty patient. Yo, yo, yeah. You, uh, you back there with the hat on. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Come right? on down to Harmon Town. What's your name, Nate? Nate. Frown upside down. P is yellow, poop is brown. Oh boy. Come down on down, down to Harmon Town. My mom told me not to rap. I 
on a stage right. She said, you too white, you're gonna suffer from stage fright. I said, yeah, right, bitch, I'll put you back in your place right. I got this plight and I'm not about to die tonight. On this stage right. I said that twice too many times before, but my name is Nate, I'll suck and hit you to the floor. I'm in town, turn that brown upside down. I couldn't climb for more because this dude cut me up. <laughs> Shit, I better than all those other kids. I can't <laughs> Down. One more, one more verse, real quick. All right. One more verse. Yeah, let me, and you're up next. You're up next. Yeah, all, right. Wait, oh. all right, that didn't work out. It's fine. All right. Name it, name it. What's your name? What's your name? Khalil. 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 All right. Khalil, Khalil. All right. Khalil, Khalil. Come on down to Harmontown. Khalil, turn that frown upside down. Khalil, his yellow poop is brown. He come on down to Harmontown. Showed up late to motherfucking harm in town. I don't give a fuck, but I still got down. Got up on the motherfucking stage and I'm still wearing the motherfucking crown. I stay real. I'm from the shot town and I stay trill. If you don't know about that trill shit, I come from the south, yes, and I'm on that peel shit. I don't give a fuck, yes, I'm on that spill shit. Come on down to Come on You want to say? Yo, I'm on stage with Khalil. I'm a reverend motherfucker. That's how I feel. I've been made legit because his face is dark. I'm back in Central Park. I feel, I feel emboldened. Feel the whiteness fading. I feel a fucking young mama like my name was Kato, Kaylin. I'm in your guest house, motherfucker. You murdered your wife. I'm gonna fuck like Chris Tucker. And come on down to Harmontown. Don't know what that means. Found a sudden drunk. Let's go. Who is brown? Come on down, Harmontown. When he talking that Chris Tucker, something like rush shower. I don't give a fuck, nigga. I got the power. Yes, I'm straight going. Boom, full of crackers. And I'm straight going. Yes, I got a bunch of backers. Something like a financer. Call me Kickstarter. Yes, I straight get dark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Harder. 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 Stay. 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 Stay.